Hey, this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I want to talk today about what the best truck is to own. Okay. Now, this last video I put out about what's the best truck to buy, man, people went crazy. I mean, they went crazy. Sent all kind of ugly emails and all kind of ugly messages on there about, you know, my truck this and how could you say this about my truck? That video, if you listen, pay attention, is actually to somebody who's in the process of searching for a truck. It's not really directed at the people that already own the truck. Okay. Look. If you already own the truck and it does exactly what you need to do for you and it's a truck that you trust, you've, you've developed a relationship with, then by all means stick with the truck you got. I love my 2010. Now it worries me only because I've seen a lot of these trucks come in, the 6.4 trucks come in with all sorts of problems that I have never seen before. Six liters don't blow up like these things. And part of the reason why is that the fuel injection system in this truck in a stock form is capable of delivering way more fuel than this engine needs. It's just that simple. The six liters, because of the way the fuel injection system works, that Huey injection can't deliver the amount of fuel that this truck can with tuning. So that's why I see these things. But at the same time, when you're out looking for one and you're buying one, one that's been abused, hey, they're gonna unload it on somebody. The question becomes, what is the best truck to own? What's the best truck to have? Is it a Dually? Is it a six liter? Is it a six four? Is it a six seven? Is it a Dodge? Is it, is it a Duramax? You guys send me these questions about what's the best Dodge or what's the best Duramax. I have no idea. I've never even looked at those trucks. I've never even seen one on a lift. You know, the joke around here is, is it will change the oil if you, if you bring the filter, okay? Because we have the oil. But here's the deal. You guys that are in trucks that are under warranty, one, I can't do anything for you except encourage you to, to change your fluids, change your filters, use good clean fuel, use the fuel additives, use the arch oil or, or something else, whatever turns you on, to keep the water out of the fuel to make your truck live as long as possible. You guys that are outside of warranty and you're having problems with it, I can help you. But only if you have a Ford, because I don't know anything about the rest of these other trucks. So what is the best truck to own? Is it a Toyota Tundra? Is it an F-250? What's the best one? The best truck to own is the one that is sitting in your driveway that you own. If it's paid for and sitting in your driveway and it fulfills your needs as you need it, that's the best truck that there is. If it's a gas burner and it does everything you need it to do, then that's fantastic. If it's a, if it's a, a Duramax, it does everything you need it to do, then hey, that's fantastic. I can't help you with a Duramax when it breaks because I don't know anything about them. Dodges either. I, all I know is what I've been told. They have transmission problems. I know guys down here in Griffin have made a fortune off of building transmissions for Dodges. If the transmission was so good, why are these guys making money? Is if you have a truck, it does what you need it to do, follow the instructions on the PowerStrokeHelp.com website and do everything necessary to take care of the truck. Change the fluids, keep up with it, keep an eye out for leaks, keep an eye out for any sort of potential problems that you're going to have with a truck that could be catastrophic. Make it last as long as possible. Make it live as long as you can by taking care of it. That's what PowerStrokeHelp.com is all about. If you own a Ford Power Stroke diesel truck and you follow the things that I say, then it should live forever. It doesn't say that this one doesn't worry me when I go down the road because I know at some point something weird might happen. But then again, it might go 250,000 miles. I've seen these trucks with 300,000 miles on them run perfectly fine. So it's all a matter of how well you take care of it. Do the maintenance. Keep your eyes on the EGTs. Make sure your fluid levels are up. Just keep an eye on the thing. Make sure your tires have proper pressure on them. Make sure your brake pads don't go too low. You know, it's just the little things that add up to a good experience with the vehicle. So at the end of the day, the best vehicle that there is is the one that's sitting in your driveway that's paid for that does everything you need. If it's a Ford and it breaks and it's outside of warranty, call me. I can help you. But if it's anything else, you're on your own. There's other people out there on the internet that can help you with that stuff because I just don't know anything about it. Thank you for all your continuing support on PowerStrokeHelp.com. Also, if you're watching my videos and you're not watching them on PowerStrokeHelp.com, you're really missing where the action is. You need to go to the website PowerStrokeHelp.com and check us out because there's a lot of information on there that could be very useful to you as a Power Stroke owner to keep your truck on the road as long as possible. Remember, if you press the Arch Oil button, all the proceeds from Arch Oil uh, go to help train a vet, the nonprofit organization that I run, to help veterans ease their way back into civilian life. Thank you for all your support for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop for PowerStroke owners on the internet.